Good evening, children. Today's practical number four is again on transpiration. You will write down today's date, twenty-sixth July, and the aim of experiment is what you can see. I have written in the red pen, right? So the black bold alphabets here, the letters I have cut. Instead, your aim of experiment becomes to demonstrate uptake of water. And the rate of transpiration using Ganong's potometer. Now, this we have already discussed while we were discussing the ch chapter transpiration. The setup is like this: there is a beaker. We take water in this, and we add a coloured dye called eosin. Then there is a bent capillary tube. At one end of it, we take a freshly cut leafy shoot. And fill it entirely with water. Then there's a reservoir, which is attached to a stand with a stopcock, and this is also filled with water. There is a graduated capillary tube over here. Now the working is such that we have to introduce one single bubble through this bent tube. How it is done? This this is done by lifting the bent capillary tube above the coloured water. So that air is sucked in just for a fraction of second. This goes, and we quickly dip it back again into water. Now, as the transpiration continues, the bubble will move from right to left into a given time, and this is noted. That is, the water lost by the shoot, right, is uh, equivalent, more or less, to the water that is absorbed, right? Or in other words, the suction force that is su set up. it is pulling the water right uh, from the beaker and the bubble in the capillary tube is moving along the readings of the capillary tube they are noted in a given uh, time and that gives the amount of what lost so this is what the bubble is very very important and suppose if there are more than one bubbles introduced and that happens practically that happens the moment we lift up the bent uh, capillary tube sometimes a number of bubbles come in together so that we have to bring them back to the original place by the use of this reservoir that is we release some more water from the reservoir into the capillary tube by opening the stop cock like a tap and then this shifts the bubble back to position you know while this is a very very good apparatus but it directly does not measure transpiration right potometer does measure indirectly it measures not the water lost but the water that is taken up by the roots then some of this water is used by the cells also for other processes like food manufacture etc the potometer should be made completely airtight right that we'll do this here with the use of vaseline in the experiment and there are uh, the some precautions like this twig should be cut under water why that should not allow the bubbles or let's say it should be cut obliquely under water to allow large surface area for the water intake right and also it should be cut under water to avoid the bubble that should be sucked in limitations are many this introduction of bubble is not easy the twig may not uh, remain alive for a long time and the changes in outside temperature right that will affect the position of bubble but the same can be kept into different conditions like under a fan or in direct sunlight in dark and we can study the rate of transpiration so that's your experiment for today children the only change i have given is in the aim of experiment which i have written in hand requirements will be here ganong's potometer freshly cut leafy shoot water eosin dye beaker and vaseline procedure explained in the paragraph the same thing what i have explained right now you will please copy down the entire thing of procedure till here observations till here inference given clearly and precautions all right so this side heading which is for limitations you will not write at a separate just change the paragraph instead of writing a note right you can directly just change the paragraph because the use of potometer has some own limitations and that you are summing down that's all for your writing part children 
once again i'll tell you from where to where you are starting from here with the written words under aim continuing all till over here right the only thing is you may just remove the side heading note but change the paragraph and write whereas diagram children will not be this you you can see i have cut it right but the diagram is from your textbook yet there is an important change what you need to do that the pink color will only be given into the beaker and the water till the air bubble after the air bubble the water you will be uh, just coloring in white uh, sorry in light blue color with a pencil because this is pure water right this is not the pink color in your textbook if you see the entire thing is pink whether here or here or here but that you will just change children because the colored water has been sucked up by the bubble till the threshold of the bubble limit beyond this is water so that you can just show by blue colored pencil that's all for today children this will be your fourth practical and the assigned date that i'll be giving will be till 31st of july and on that day i'll give you the fifth practical all right any questions you may uh, kindly ask it on the window there or uh, uh, just drop in a message so i can reply it thank you